guys, it's Christina with My Confection Obsession and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a hand-painted palm leaf cake. So as you guys can see, in front of me I have an already ready to go um, frosted cake and so I did use pink frosting for this because I think it's going to look really nice with the green palm leaves. And you're gonna see I also already have my border around the bottom because later when we get to placing our palm leaves, I wanted to make sure the placement was correct um, because I've done it before where I add the border too late and then it kind of just messes up the spacing of things. So this cake's ready to go. It's a six inch four layer cake um, and it is crusted buttercream. Um, and so this is ready to decorate. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna cut out palm leaves using fondant. and. We're gonna use fondant because I'm gonna be painting on them and fondant gives a really nice base when you wanna paint um, with gel food coloring. So what I did is I actually found just an, an image online of a palm shape that I'm gonna to wanna to use. So I ended up cutting that out and we're gonna use this um, to cut out with our fondant. So I'm gonna be using white here. After you cut out your fondant, um, you can do one of two things. So you can immediately place it on the cake um, to paint your palm leaves directly onto the cake um, and then they're gonna wrap really nicely. Um, like it's gonna be able to curve because the fondant is still soft. So you can do it that way. Or you can choose to um, let the fondant harden and then paint on the fondant there and then stick these on the cake later. So what I did is I already have some palm leaves that are hard and ready to go. So these are good. So I'm gonna show you how I paint these so they end up looking like this. So I'm gonna be using two different colors of green. So I'm using Americolor in leaf green and forest green. So the leaf green is a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna use my gel color and I'm gonna add a little bit of vodka to this to make it the consistency of paint. So you're adding just a tiny little bit. And this alcohol is going to dry out um, and evaporate and so it won't be, there won't be anything left behind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my leaf green first. And I'm gonna paint down the center and just paint um, almost like some um, like diagonal lines. And I want these to look a little bit abstract so I'm not making them perfect. And I actually like when some are a little bit lighter, like some strokes and some are a little bit darker. And then what I'm gonna do is take my darker green with a brush that's a little bit more of a firm bristle. And so this is my forest screen. And I'm gonna go over this. With a little bit darker shade. So I'm leaving like a little bit of white in there, just like a tiny bit. But I like these to look watercolor and I think it looks really pretty like that. So when they dry, it'll look something like this. So if you're painting these ahead of time, you do wanna let them dry overnight so that when you touch them, nothing is gonna come off on your hand. So you could place these directly on the cake, but you do run the risk of um, some of the color running. 
Um, and so that's why I decided I just wanted to let them the paint completely dry before I stuck it on the cake. So for our palm leaf cake, I do wanna have a cake topper here. And what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna make a fondant flamingo cake topper and I'll show you how I do this. So I'm gonna be using this flamingo um, cookie cutter and this is an Anne Clark cookie cutter and I got it on Amazon, so I'll put that in the show notes. And then I have some hot pink fondant here. And I use this um, using my marshmallow fondant recipe. So this cake topper needs to be pretty sturdy, so I'm gonna actually make um, like two layers of flamingo and stick them together with the cake pop stick. So I'll go ahead and do that. Wilton dab and hold to stick um, our flamingo layers together with the cake pop stick. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna cut out a little bit of white fondant for our flamingo's beak and for the leg area. those legs on. So same thing, I'm gonna stick this on with some dab and hold. So now I'm gonna start adding some details in and this is an Americolor edible marker in black. I love using this thing for little tiny details. It's just like a marker. So you do wanna let your flamingo harden for a couple days, um, definitely at least overnight. So I have one here and we're gonna let this guy sit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a wing here and I'm gonna paint just a tiny bit of yellow there. tooth paintbrush to paint this little part of his beak yellow. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start adhering my palm leaves um, and to give you guys some context I made I think like 15 or 20 and I don't think I'm going to need that many but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and start sticking my palm leaves on my cake. So all I'm going to do is use my dab and hold and paint a little bit on the back. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna place these, kind of abstractly.
attaching these after the fondant has hardened. Um, you are probably going to have to hold these in place for a few seconds, um, as you can see that I'm doing, so that they actually stick where you want them and stay, otherwise they're going to slide down. So just have a little patience with that. And the very last thing I'm going to do is place my flamingo topper. Okay, so my tropical hand-painted cake is done, and it actually turned out even better than I expected. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to look, but I completely love it. And as I'm looking at it, it actually kind of looks like the color scheme of the Beverly Hills Hotel, so I love it even more. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to like this episode and subscribe to my channel below.